are you calling me, Ellen? Holy crap, I do not care. Do not care. I really don't care. What the hell, Alan? Ruin my intro. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. And yes, you guys get it. Freaking Alan ruined our intro right here. Yes, in our last episode, we defeated uh, Misty of the Cerulean City Gym. Got our 11th badge. Yes, 11 badges, guys. And uh, now it's time to go... Well, I was debating this. We got two ways to go. Really, really two ways to go because now we are unable to do so. Now, first way, not this way. Um, let's see. Okay, first one would have to be in Vermilion City. We can go to the Diglett's Cave. There is a Snorlax there that is blocking the way. We can actually use our radio to wake that Pokemon up. Or we can go to Celadon City and take care of issues right there. There's not really that, that many issues. You know, we can go right there. Uh, it's easy. You know, we could just go to Saffron and whatever. Um, and I've chosen, hey, you know what, let's go Saffron, or let's go, uh, Celadon City, we need another badge, you know, yeah, so, let's go, let's do this, let's fly around, let's go to, oh, wrong place, yeah, I'm not going to Lavender Town, even though it's kind of still creepy, I mean, you, you can go right here to future city if you want to um i'm gonna go right here saffron city let's creepy Alrighty, so we're in saffron city now you can go west right here the place we've forgotten to go and here we are in route seven now a cool thing about route seven at night is that you can actually find a you can find what two rare pokemon right here that you probably want like this guy oh yes it's been a while since I've seen you, Houndour. So yeah, guys, you can actually find Houndour right here. I don't know why you cannot capture this Pokemon. Um, you can't capture this Pokemon in, uh, in Johto, since it's a Johto Pokemon. I mean, it's right here in freaking Kanto. And I almost got it. Ugh. There's that smog attack. Oh, God. Please do not poison me. If you poison me, I swear to bloody God. Oh, God, I got poisoned. Told you. Um, I got an Ultra Ball right here. You know, I could catch her, this Houndour right here. Look at that. With this shiny yellow uh, Pokeball right here. Two. Three. Yes. No! <laughs> oh, God. Hurt by the poison. Yes, I'm trying to capture this Pokemon. And, uh, well, that is very unfortunate because that Pokemon actually made us flee. So... That's a no-go right there. Okay, but you, now you guys know you can actually capture Houndour right here. Now I'm gonna have to go up here. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look right here. No, we can't go through here. It's locked. And what it says right here is what it says in the flyer. Uncoth trainers have been holding uh, battles in the underground path because of rising complaints by local residents. The underground path has now been sealed indefinitely. Uh, Sell it on police. Wow, okay, so that's why the sell or the Kanto Federation's been on my butt about things. Okay, so here we are in Celadon City. The greatest town in the whole wide world, right? Nah, I don't know. That's yet to be seen. Talk to this guy. This Polyrath is my partner. I wonder if it'll evolve into a frog Pokemon. No, wait, what? Polyrath? No. I mean, you already evolved it, man. There's no going back. There is no going back, and would you look at that? Huh, it's you, Sing. Hi! I'm back visiting my hometown. It's been quite a while. Oh, by the way, Draven, have you caught the legendary uh, Pokemon Raikou and Entei? Da -da -da. Okay. If you catch even one, I hope that you'll inform me. I'm counting on you, Draven. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I guess if you capture one of the legendary beasts, I, I'm so used to calling them dogs, uh, if you capture one of them and inform them, I guess something special will happen, or he'll give you something special, I don't know. And let's see, Team Rocket's hideout is in the basement of the corner, game corner. Oh, wait, that was three years ago. Huh. Wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Or are you just programmed to say that? Erica is a master of grass Pokemon. She'll make you pay if you don't watch yourself. I highly doubt that. Of 
course, Erica is the gym leader around this area. Now, first place we have to go to. Yes, it's the game corner right here. Selling on City, the City of Rainbow Dreams. Go right here. The playground for everybody. Selling on City game or game corner. Yeah, I kind of missed that up. I love the song right here. That's right, I'm boogieing. That's right. That's right, you don't see me, but I'm dancing right now. That's right, and what, what, what are you doing here? Hey, champion of making. Are you playing the slots too? I'm trying to get enough coins for a prize Pokemon, but I don't have enough coins yet. Okay, all right. Now, people were saying about the little, uh, the button right here. Now, there's somebody in here that tells me about a button. Let's see. I think there's a slot machine to play, play out. Okay, no. Let's see, talk to this guy. <laughs> no. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll shift my luck with you. He does give me coins, which is cool. I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can actually find coins here on the floor. Let me see, let me see. I'm pressing the button right now, guys. I'm seriously doing it. Talk to this guy. Hmm, the odds are surely better off with Pikachus on the line, huh? I think so. Uh, let's see. There's somebody in here that lets me know about some kind of, uh, on Switch. This guy's like, the slot machines are... Okay, um... Yeah, never mind. But if you guys remember, uh, in Pokemon Yellow, there was a uh, a little button right here. Now, if you go right here, he's like, "Hey, underneath this poster, nope, there's nothing." You know, a cruel joke, cruel joke from Nintendo, right here too. Hey, underneath this poster, there's nothing. Yeah, it, there, there's absolutely nothing here. Uh, this used to be the Rockets Game Corner, and uh, let's see, I'm gonna buy some coins. Let's see, 1,000, okay, so I'm just going to buy 500, or I'm just going to buy 100, and I'm going to go next door and see what they can offer me. I'm pretty sure they're going to offer me, like, some pretty nifty Pokemon right here. Alright, let's see, talk to this guy, he's like, I wanted a Porygon, but I was short 100 coins. Hmm, that's cool. Whew! I've got, a, I, I've got to say, calm and cool, I can't lose my cool, or I'll lose all my money. Okay, so now there's two doors right here, this guy's like... Welcome. We exchange your Pokemon for fabulous prizes, and here we have the TM32, TM29, and the TM15. Each one of these uh, TMs are pretty good uh, moves. And if you go right here, you'll actually be able to uh, exchange yourself for some Pokemon, like Pikachu. You guys been wanting a Pikachu? You can get one right here. Hell, you can get yourself a Porygon, which is 5,555 Pokecoins, and then Larvitar, three rare Pokemon right here. Of course, uh, I'm not going to use any one of these Pokemon, so we're just going to move on right now. Uh, let's see, where, what else? Let's see, talk to this girl. Stop moving! I lost, uh, I lost, uh, the slot machines again. Uh, we girls also play slots now. You should take them out. Yeah, no. Already did. Didn't really have enough luck. And, uh, yeah, we're going to surf right here. Go, Nessie, go. And talk to this guy. He's like, Grimer have been appearing lately. See that pond out in front of the, the house? Grimer live there now. Where do they come from? This is a serious problem. Hmm. Yeah, you'll be able to find Grimer right in here, guys. Literally, Grimer right here. I don't know how. And the question is, where did it, like, how did this guy get into his house? I want to know that. Okay. Um, that's done. And, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, if you talk to this kid, he's like... They'll be holding an eating contest at this restaurant. Just watching them go makes me uh, feel bloated. Actually, I'm very good at uh, eating contests right here, too. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. He's he's going at it. Don't talk to me. You'll break my concentration. Hmm. Okay. There's a chick here, too. Uh, I take quantity over quality. I'm happy when I'm full. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Kobayashi right here. Munch munch, and he's like, the food is good here, but the golden rod has the best food anywhere. Oh, okay. And there's a lady in here. Crunch crunch. I can keep eating. More chef! Oh, dang. And this guy's like, hi! We're holding an eating thon contest. We can't serve you right now. Sorry. Well, I haven't eaten in like, I don't know how many episodes. And if you go right here, you can actually find the leftovers. Um. What I'm going to do right now is... I think I have an item here that I... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to give this iron to... Who should I give this iron to? Um, who has the weakest defense? Yeah, let's go. Let's go Kid Thunder right here. Probably does have the weakest defense. Uh, while I'm at it, give that protein to... 
Let's see, relic. That's right. Okay, so I have I, I made enough space, and we got ourselves leftovers. Pretty cool. Alrighty. And if you guys don't know, leftovers actually heal up your Pokemon every turn. And you know what? This is actually the thing that I need. I've never given Relic any... Well, I've given Relic the experience share before, but I, since then I haven't given him any kind of item. And, uh, well, we're going to be moving on right here. Now, what else can you find in Saffron or in Celadon City? Not this little lady. He's like, looking at the ground while I was uh, walking it made me dizzy. Yeah, this thing makes me dizzy. So dizzy. Look at that. Uh, let's see, Celadon City Department has the biggest and best selection of merchandise. If you can't get it there, you can get it anywhere. Gee, I sound like the clerk. Hmm. This is true. You can, uh, there's a, lot, a large selection right there. Um, I've, we've been there before. Um, we don't need to go there now. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. Want to know a secret? Celadon Mansion has a hidden back door. Hmm, that is true. Um, okay, so... We're just going to be talking to people. My dear Pokemon keep me company, so I don't ever feel lonely. Meowth even brings me money home. Shoot. Are you sure it just brings me money or it just steals money? I don't know. Let's see. Is there anybody here? Nope. That's nothing. What else is here? Ah, oh, there's there's the programmers of the Nintendo. Let's see. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't give up. Hmm. Who? Me? I'm the programmer. Play the slot machines. Wow, he's an advertisement. And talk to this guy. He's like, aren't the twins adorable? Jasmine's pretty too. Oh, I love them. Uh, my favorite Pokemon trainer is Sabrina. Get that right, buddy. And I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. Okay. Uh, I think when you complete the Pokedex, you can talk to this guy and he'll actually give you like a diploma or some sort. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And let's see, high places, I do love them so. I'd say the only thing that loves uh, heights as much as uh, me is smoke. From Mortal Kombat. Smoke. Alright, so we're gonna go to the back door right here. And uh, we're gonna check out the, we're gonna check out the place. We're gonna check it out. Literally check it out. So let's go right here on our bike. Because it's all fast. And remember, Generation 2, we didn't have a lot of speed. And hi, we've seen you before. I don't want to talk to you guys right now. And here we are in the back door. If you guys remember in Pokemon Yellow, you can actually get Eevee right here. Now, there's pretty much nothing right here. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, Let me recount a terrifying tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was given a new bicycle. He wanted to, uh, to try it right away. He was having so much fun that he didn't notice that the sun had set. While riding it home in the pitch black, night the bike suddenly slowed the pedals became heavy when he stopped it pedaling the bike began slipping backwards it was like it was if the bike was cursed and trying to drag him into oblivion dot, dot, dot. long story short shriek the boy had been uh, riding uphill on the cycling road but dum dum for listening to, uh, so patiently, you may take this, the TM-03. <laughs> Alright, listening to his joke right here was just pretty cool. It's good, it's good. Um, TM-03 is Curse. It's terrifying move that slowly whittles down the HP of the, or the victim's HP. Now, Curse, the Curse technique works differently for Ghost-type Pokemon and regular Pokemon. It doesn't matter what type of Pokemon. Anything other than Ghost-type Pokemon, the Curse technique uh, heightens up their special defense. In defense, I think. Could be wrong. Again, correct me down on uh, down below, guys. Um, but for Ghost-type Pokemon, it actually, uh, it actually slashes their HP in half and then puts a curse on any other Pokemon that they're play they're facing. And uh, here's the TM or the uh, Route 16. Now, what I need to do is I'm actually gonna have to go back for Razor. We need Razor. Wow. This is incredible. Hi, you seen uh, you a hole? Don't need to talk to you right now. And, uh, okay, let's go ahead and deposit Kid, Kid Thunder right here. You did your job. You destroyed Misty. Now we need Razor. So we're going to go back for Razor right here. Let's see, where are you? No, that's Dragonair. And there we are. Razor. Razor. Laser. And Blazer. And Michelle. 
Guess, guess where that's from, guys. I know I added an extra name there, but guess where it's from. Take a look. If you guys get get that uh, answer right, you will be getting giving a shout out in the next episode. And this tree can be cut. Yes, it can. Alrighty. Okay. And okay, right here. If you go right here, this used to be the place where you can get the HMO2 fly. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, if you cruise down the cycling road, you will end up in Fuchsia City. That's it. That's it. Wow. Um, second road, downhill coasting all the way. Okay. Alrighty. Um, okay, so there, I think I've already explored everything in Celadon City, so... F it. Let's go. Let's do this. We're going straight to the gym. I know, it's taking, what, 15, 16 minutes long? Whatever. Let's go. We're going to make it a big episode right here. It's a Friday episode, right? I'm pretty sure of it. Man, this gym is great. Only girls are allowed here. Wow. This guy right here. Southern City Pokemon gym, uh, gym leader Erica, the nature-loving princess. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, well, if you guys can't tell, the guy that... The only guy that ever believed in us, yeah, he's not here because, unfortunately, no guys allowed. And, uh, okay, it is time to start using Cinder. We're gonna just, we're gonna just start wrecking crap around here. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna take the experience chair, and I'm just gonna give it to Razor. Why? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, literally use Razor on my team or anything like that. I'm just gonna grow at some level since, you know... He ha it has become a part of our family, you know, a big Pokemon family. So here we go. We'll show you Pokemon moves that Erica taught us. You know, this would be a double battle, but you know, double battle and all that stuff, whatever. Here we go, twins Joe and Zoe, and they come out with a victory bell. Huh? What are the odds? The odds of that. All right, Cinder, let's do this. Cinder, let's go with Fire Punch. Oh, yes. Fire Punch. Does its damage right there, and say goodbye to Victory Bell. Yeah, this is this is probably going to be just the Cinder show right here, because, you know, Fire versus uh, Grass-type Pokemon works perfectly, and she and they, they come out with a Vile Plume. Looking scary right here. It's looking very scary. But I got Flame Wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Flame Wheel is kicking some butt right here. Will it go all the way down? Yes, it has. It was about to trick me right there. And, uh, that's it, right? Razor's getting a lot of experience points. And, oh, I lost. Yes, you did. You lost. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, this place should be like a double battle gym, ba gym but I guess they don't believe it. Um... We can't go down the middle, so we're gonna battle this chicken green, and she's like, Oh, a battle, that's kind of, uh, scary, but okay! Alright, let's do this. Bring it on. Ugh. Tanya. Coming out with Executor. Alright. Alrighty. Fire Punch. That's right, Fire Punch for the win right here. And there we go, Executor has been defeated. Just like that. Oh yeah, Razor, you know, getting some experience points because he's not doing anything right now. And, oh, that's it? Yeah, that's what happens when you only have one Pokemon. Oh, look at all your badges. No wonder I couldn't win. You only had one Pokemon. Do you think a girl's only gym is rare? Not really, I mean... Years ahead, there will be other gym battles or gyms with only girls and stuff. Last Michelle, let's go. She's coming out with her skip loom loom. Alrighty, let's go. Fire punch. Alrighty, alrighty. Skip loom, doing the, doing the dirty right there, and uh, Cinder just annihilating everybody. And, uh, well, really, you have a Hoppip. One of the weakest Pokemon right there. You know what? I'm gonna give it some mercy. Let's go with the Fury Cutter. Yeah. There goes that Mega Drain. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I really don't care. But you know what? Fury Cutter does it again. 
because every time it gets powerful. That's right. And there goes that cotton sport. What is it going to do to me? I'm just going to lower my speed a little, but you know what? It is what it is, because I'm going to go with the Fury Cutter. That's right. Now Fury Cutter's been... Now Fury Cutter's a little more powerful in Razor. Grows to level 37. All right. And she's coming out with her jump lift. All right. Okay, let's go. And there goes that Leech Seed. We don't want that, but... Eh. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, it's become more powerful. Oh, jeez. Oh, how, how in the hell was... Oh, jeez. Okay, so we got a little too cocky right here. We got too freaking cocky, and there's that Fury Cutter for the win. Fatality. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so last Michelle has been defeated, and she's like, oh, bleh. It's like she doesn't really care about battling, and she's going to be telling me, I just care less, that's all. Well, I guess I guess I was right about that. Okay, do I have a full restore? Yes, I do. Okay, let's use that on Cinder. And uh, let's just move on. Um, Alright, we got two more trainers. She's like, were you looking at these flowers or at me? What if I was looking at both? Maybe you were beautiful like a flower. I don't know. Could be... I, I, I could be wrong. Look at her. Just look at her. Just look at her. Alright. Alright. She's coming out with her Paris. I'm coming out with... Flame Wheel. As you can see... No match for the Flame Wheel. No match. And Sidner's just been kicking butt right now. Sidner's kicking butt. Razor's growing levels because, you know what, why not? And here comes Execute. Execute. Has the word cute in it because it's not cute at all. And here we go with another Flame Wheel. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Alrighty. Okay. What are you coming out? Oh, she's coming out with this one. Okay. Alright. Let's go with the fire punch. See what we can do right here. Oh. And just like that, we... Well, Parasite just been defeated like that. Easy. Okay, so Beauty Julia has been defeated. And she's like, how annoying. I was looking at both. Maybe I was making a comparison that you were like the flower. How do you, or how do I go about becoming a lady like, like Erica? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how Erica does her thing. I really don't care. I just want that gym badge. Okay, so let's do this. Hello, Erica. It's been a while. Let's go. Hello, lovely le weather. Isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of the Celadon Gym. Oh, oh, uh, all the way from Johto? You say, how nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize uh, that you were that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Bring it on, woman. Okay, so here we have another gym battle. Two gym battles in, a, in, in two episodes. We can do that. All right, Erica coming out with her Tangela. And here comes the man, the myth, the legend, Cinder. Going into our next screen right here, you can already tell. She is all grass-type Pokemon with a hint of poison. Now, if you guys remember, in both in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green, she does have Victory Bell, Tangela, and Vileplume. And they're, they, didn't, they don't even cross level 30. Now, in Pokemon Yellow, that's where it all changes because she does have Tangela, Weeping Bell, and Gloom, which... Uh, they don't even pass level 35. Now, here in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, they are now at level 40. Wow. Seriously? Not a, not a lot of training here? She does have her Tangela, level 42. Does have Bind Whip, Bind, Giga Drain, and Sleep Powder. Victory Bell at level 46. It's both a Grass Poison type Pokemon. Does have Sunny Day, Acid, Synthesis, and Razor Leaf. Then you got Jump Luff at level 41. Both a grass and flying type Pokemon. Mega Drain, Leech, with Leech Seed, Cotton Spore, and Giga Drain right there. And her final Pokemon, Blossom. 
It's both. Well, it's just a grass type Pokemon. Sunny Day, Synthesis, Petal Dance, and Solar Beam. It's its only attacks. Now remember, you're facing grass type Pokemon right here. They will try and kind of screw screw around with your um, your statuses, like uh, you know, poison you, uh, par 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 paralyze you, uh, slow you down just a little. And be aware of that Sunny Day attack because, of course, it is a uh, it will it enhance their attacks just a little bit, including that sun, that solar beam attack. Now coming back here, let's go, let's get this. Oh yeah, fire punch. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Cinder kicking ass since episode one. Look at that, level 54 finally. Razor doing nothing at all, and here comes a victory bell. I'm going to do exactly what I'm going to do right here. I'm just going to burn the crap out of everybody right now. So let's go. Flame Wheel. For the win. Oh, yeah. I love that sound. I, I love that sound. Flame Wheel is pretty awesome, too. And uh, Victory Bell. Critical hit. Eat it. That's right. Doesn't like that. Razor, of course, growing levels just easily. And here she comes out with her Jump Luff. I am not giving any any one of these Pokemon any kind of chance to hit me right now. I am not cocky. I'm just laser focused right here. And would you look at that. Flame Wheel just destroys this Pokemon. For the win. That's right. Oh yes. The Cinder Show. And of course, Razor grows to level 38. Thank you for being our cut Pokemon right now. And she's coming out with her Blossom, newest Pokemon addition to her to her team right here. And uh, Blossom, meet Fire Punch. Fire Punch, meet Blossom. Blossom, meet the floor. For the win. Oh uh, yeah. How does it feel to fail, Erica? Doesn't feel so good right there. And uh, well, that was easy. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remar um, remarkably strong. I shall give you the rainbow badge. That's right. That is right. And uh, just like that, guys, we got 12 badges. Now, that was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish to have this. I wish you to have this. A this TM. It is Giga Drain. It is a wonderful move that drains a half of the damage uh, it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Please use it if you if it pleases you, I guess. So I'm assuming uh, Erica's the only Pokemon trainer in Pokemon Crystal that gives us a TM. It's pretty cool. Losing leaves a bitter t aftertaste, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I, I uh, okay. All right, that's cool. All righty, we defeated everybody. We did this in less than 30 minutes. That's well, pretty cool. You know, it's a pretty good episode for you guys, you know. You guys are entertained and all that stuff. At least I'm not going piece by piece like I like I did back then. Well, you're getting the whole enchilada right here. And speaking of enchiladas, I am hungry for some, but I can't have any. I ate them all. Nah. My sister ate them all. That jerk. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In our next episode, I believe... Yeah, we're going to go to Fuchsia City. I think we are. Should we go to Fuchsia City? Yeah, we're going to go to Fuchsia City in the next episode, guys, so stay tuned. We're going to be going to Fuchsia City. Oh, God. The dreaded Fuchsia City. I'll see you guys tomorrow, or whenever. See you guys.